Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Clarence and I make N8N automations of workflows and I try to implement AI where possible. This is one of the workflows I created quite a while ago when I was still learning and getting the hang of things, but I thought it might be useful to share with anyone else who's also interested in this space. This is a calendar management agent. All it can do is retrieve calendar events. So check my schedule for tomorrow, next week, next month, whatever but it can also create events and even create events with people and actually invite those people, which is interesting, but I'll get to that in a second. So first thing I'll do is show how it works, what it does, I'll give you a, a glimpse. Let me show you how it works by opening up a Telegram chat and asking it to get my schedule for tomorrow. So I've asked it to get my schedule for tomorrow. Let's start the workflow so you can see how everything works together. And it has sent me a message back with my calendar for tomorrow. Let's check if it's actually what's on my calendar for tomorrow. And as you can see, the barber, the dentist and the meeting, it aligns with what we got. So besides retrieving my calendar or my schedule, it can also create events and it can even create an event and invite the other person, which it does by going into my contact list, retrieving the contact information, creating the event and sending them an invite, which I think is really cool but I'll get to that at the end. Let's quickly check if the create event and the create event with attendees work just as well. So I'm going to ask it to schedule a meeting for tomorrow 9 p.m. and see what it does. So instead of the get events it, a tool, it went to the create events tool and it sent me a message back. It scheduled a meeting for tomorrow 9 p.m. Let's check and there it is. Lastly, we'll ask it to schedule a meeting with someone else for tomorrow 11 p.m. See what it does. You can see it goes to my Airtable, which is where I hold my contacts. It went to the create event with attendees and it sent me a message back. Let's show the message. It has successfully scheduled the meeting for tomorrow, 11 p.m. Did it and it did. And now that you've seen that it works, I'll show you how it works and how you can replicate it and get started with N8N workflows yourself. So this entire workflow is triggered by the Telegram trigger, which is coupled to a Telegram chat and is just triggered whenever a new message is received. The message then goes to the AI agent where I have written a prompt to describe what it needs to do, what I want it to do. So under text where you give the AI agent the input that you want it to process. So in this case, we're working with a variable because the Telegram message can change every time I send a new message. So we used json.message.text, which we can easily get from just grabbing this from the input side, putting it here, and then there it is, json.message.text. And this is it, schedule a meeting for tomorrow 11 p.m. with Joanna, which is actually the last task I asked. Then the last thing you need to do is write a prompt for the AI agent to tell it what you want it to do. I'll quickly go over the prompt I wrote. I described the role, I described the tasks it can be given, I gave it some notes, and then lastly, I gave it today's date, which is this little piece of code, dollar sign now, which directly translates into the date and time. So the role and the task are really straightforward because I can only ask it three tasks. But in the notes sections is where you can actually fine tune your prompt in case you, you get some errors or something is not really how, you're, how you want it to be. For example, one of the things that I noticed is when I asked it to schedule a meeting for let's say tomorrow, but I didn't specify the duration of the meeting, it would give me an error message or it would ask some for some more context. That's why I wrote, if no duration is mentioned, assume the event lasts one hour. I also ran into some problems when I asked the AI agent to create an event without someone else, so without inviting someone else. It always asked if there was anyone that needed to be invited instead of just creating the event. That's why I wrote this. If no names are mentioned in the request, assume there are no attendees, which is really straightforward, straight to the point and easy for the AI agent to understand. For the AI agent to be aware of what's going on and to be able to read your message and send out the proper tasks, you have to connect it to a large language model. In this case, I chose ChatGPT, but you can also choose Olama or Claude, whichever you prefer. Then onto the tools the AI agent has, which is the trickiest part of everything, but I assure you it is easy to understand once I go through it. I went to the execution so I can actually show you the input data for each request I made for the Get Events tool. All the input the get events tool needs is the amount of events you wanted to retrieve and it needs a start and end date so it needs to know in between which dates it can look for the events it used to be quite tricky to find the right parameters to get everything to work but now with the latest update from n8n you can simply use curly brackets from ai closed curly brackets and then put the key in there i did the same for the after time and i did the same for the before time 
this gives you some more context. So besides the key, you can also give it a description. So let's say you have a really long message with a lot of information in there, and you're not sure if the AI tool is able to get the right info or get the right input. You can just simply describe what it should be looking for and it will retrieve that, put that in and it'll get you the desired output. Then for the create events tool, it's actually mostly the same. The only thing that's different this time is it's not asking for a limit, it's just asking for a title because of course the event needs to have a name. In this case, I asked it to schedule a meeting. So the title became meeting. It gave me a start and an end date. And I input the same things as I did for the get events tool. I noticed that I went a bit quickly over how to set these tools up with your credentials, but that's so straightforward. And it has perfect documentation, a very clear step-by-step -step on how to get the API keys and everything. So I'm sure you'll figure it out. If that's not the case, let me know in the comments. I can make a video about it, but I'm sure you'll figure it out. Before I get into explaining this tool, I'll first go back briefly to the AI agent logs to show you what exactly it did to create an event and also invite someone. So as you can see, it went from the agent to the Airtable to retrieve the contact information. Then it went back to the chat model. Then it went to the create event attendees tool. And then it came back to send a message to Telegram, which is, as you can see here, it went into the Airtable to get the contact information. It set the contact information back because the contact information is actually needed to create the event and invite someone. Lastly, we're in the create events tool. It needs to start an end date for every meeting. It needs to know the contact information of the attendees, which it got through the Airtable, and it needs to know the title for the meeting. Same thing, I used the from AI, and then I gave it the keys to find the right parameters, and it did exactly what we expected it to do. That was just a quick overview of how this workflow works, the tools I used, how to set these tools up, how to find the right parameters, uh, and I hope this was useful. If anything is unclear or you need some more explanation, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you. This was my first ever YouTube video, so it was actually quite tricky to tape everything, but um, I sure hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you watched all the way to the end. Consider subscribing. I promise that in the future, these workflows will become a lot more interesting as I keep working on it. But I just wanted to give you the very basics so you can follow along and see this as like your first stepping stone into Enet and workflows. Either way, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.